Hi, I'm Adam with HKN, and today we're going to be going over an ideal op-amp example. What we have to remember with these op-amp examples, first, are these two very important op-amp rules. The first one is the input currents are going to be zero. So, in this example, we have an op-amp surrounded by resistors and a voltage source, but the currents going in this and this, they're both going to be zero. Second rule is the two op-amp inputs have the same voltage. So the voltage here in this is going to be the same voltage as here. Now we know this voltage right here. So right off the bat, we know that this voltage right here is going to be zero. Something to remember. We're going to try to figure out these currents right here. And then we're going to try to figure out this V out, so the voltage out from the circuit. So starting off, we're going to try to find I1. I1 can be calculated with this voltage source minus the voltage right here, which we know is going to be 0. So that's 0 volts, that's 0 volts. Because this is 0 volts, that's 0 volts. So we know that I1 equals 150 millivolts minus 0 all over this resistance right here, which is 2K, 2K ohms. Now we do the calculation for that. We're going to get 0 0.075 milliamps. So now we know I1. I1 is checked off. So we're going to continue going around the circuit. We're going to try to find I2 next. Now I2 Hmm, that's going to be difficult. Okay, because we have a current going this way. We, got, we, got no, we know this voltage, but we don't know this voltage here, so we can't use this voltage minus that voltage over the 40K. But what we do know is I1. And since this can't be, I can't have any current going through it, we know that this I1 has to go around here. So that's going to be I1. So since that's I1, and that's I2, we know that I2 has to be equal to I1. And now we can find the voltage across this 40K resistor. Now why do we want to do that? Because we know this right here. We, know, we want to know this voltage, and then we want to know the V out. We're trying to find V out. So the voltage across this resistor, if we remember our Good old V equals IR, V equals 0 0.075 milliamps multiplied by that resistance, which is 40K. Now when we multiply those all out, we're going to get 3 volts. Polarity of that's going to be this way. So that's V 40K. You might not be able to see that, but that's just V40K, okay? And that's its polarity, plus to minus. So now we're going to try to find V out. Now what does V out equal? Well, V out has to just be zero minus this voltage. Why? Well, because if we have our, our loop here, zero volts, if we're going around this, this loop right here, we all of these have to add to be zero, right? So zero volts minus V40K plus VO equals zero. If we know zero volts minus three volts plus VO equals zero, then we know, oh wait, here, let's see. Let's add that. Sorry, we're not going to subtract that. We're going to add it. We know that VO has to be negative 3 volts. So this V is 3 volts. That's VO. We found our VO. It's going to be negative 3 volts. Now what is this current right over here? The current going right over here. In order to find that, we need to find I3. 
we know the voltage right over here. So I3 equals VO over that 25K. 25K resistor. Now what does that equal for us? That's going to be Oh wait, did I do that right? Volts over 25K, and that's going to be 0 0.12 milliamps. So now we know what's going in here, I2. I2 is going in here, 0.12 is going in there, so we know the current going in there is going to be Remember our KCL, IO plus I3, I2, we know I2, I2 is going to be 0 0.075 milliamps, plus IO plus 0 0.1. I'm going to subtract these, I-O equals those values subtracted. So we're going to get negative 0 0.045 milliamps. So now we know all these values. We know I-O, we know I-3, I-2, and then we know there's voltage across this. It wasn't asked for, but we didn't know I-2, I-1. And now we know VO. Now, if you still don't know these right over here, if you're not familiar with these, just go back to our introduction to op amp video. Um, it'll tell you all about the ideal op amp and what it, what it is, what all the rules associated with it. Um, I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you guys next time.